Well, Provo, freshman, 16 and 6. He's from Stratford, California. Reese Whitcraft, the redshirt junior from Oklahoma State, 16 and 6. Most of that in open competition. So he is unranked, just got down to 125. Most of those matches have been at 133. Mm -hmm. And Provo right in on the leg, right off the whistle. Yep. With Kraft trying to fight it off. Is he going to dive through or just, whoa, and there's two. Nice good kick down there nice by, two by Provo. Nice yeah, trip. good, good Provo. take down. That's Provo, like Provo, Utah. And he's from Stratford, California. Whitcraft get, did a good job of fighting hands there. Provo's going to look for that little cross wrist tilt. Whitcraft, broken arrow product. It took the descent from 133 to 125 when Master Giovanni uh, got out of the lineup, stepped away, and so Whitcraft had to do the descent program where he can lose no more <laughs> than one and a half percent per week, which is one of the most insane rules in wrestling I've ever seen, frankly. Whitcraft's looking to build his base. Provo is doing a really good job on top. He's got that wing in now. Minute 45 left. I don't know if he's got Whitcraft's wrist underneath there or not. His back is turned to him. Does have a chicken wing, it looks like, on the right side. I can't see the right arm of Whitcraft, but it looks like it's in a chicken wing position. Yeah. It no, is. It's not it's having a wrist. tight waist. Just a tight waist, but putting really good pressure on Woodcraft. Yeah. Trying to turn him. Arm underneath, and chicken wing. Maybe he might go to an arm bar. Stalling warning on Woodcraft. This is his second week to be down at the weight, so we're not sure how, if that's affecting him at all. But Well, you know, at South Dakota State, he looked pretty good, right? That was the first time he was an hour off of the scale. He was the mm -hmm. first match up that evening and wrestled well against Tanner Brown from uh, South Dakota State, which was a ranked opponent. Ended up beating him, controlling the match, took him down, got some near fall, got a reversal in there. Coach Smith just told him to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Nico Provo so far controlling this one. 147 riding time already. This match is only two minutes, six seconds old. So they're only 19 seconds that they were on their feet. Yeah. Like I said, still 45 seconds in this first period. So Whitcraft's got to get to his feet. Provo's going to probably look to try to throw boots back in and solidify some of that. Now Whitcraft doing a little better, making some progress, but back right down to the mat. Provo takes him back to the mat. And working hard on the chicken wings. He is working hard. Some kind of an arm put buries the head and the shoulder, tries to pull that wrist back. Tight waist on the left side. Just a very strong controlling ride. Yep. And he's been aggressive too. Yeah, he has. Got a stall call on Whitcraft on bottom. Was working for some turns there. Never got out to try to go get the turn, but he was locking some things up. He was staying active. Staying active in the top position. Boy, just time running and running. Riding time up to 240. In one period of wrestling. So just two nothing, but it's been all Provo so far. Provo deferred, Whitcraft's more neutral. I think he had about all the fun he could have underneath. Oh, man. <laughs> 240 was. Now, if you haven't seen Whitcraft wrestle before, don't put it past him to, th to, to throw a, a throw of some kind, inside trip, a headlock, you never know with him. Yeah, he's good from Hand the under. takes. I mean, he he likes to underhook and set things there. He there goes he goes. Right there. That's the star. There go yeah, they're going to have to hit him. Oh. Said they were out. I guess both, all the points got off. Whitcraft likes that position. He was trying to get to that body. You know, at the last second, Provo acted like he was throwing in the leg, ankle yeah. like he wanted to trip. That'd be interesting if they both lock up and try to trip and see what happens. I'm pretty sure they'll be back to that situation here in just a minute here, Jay. There's that hook that Whitcraft wants. Provo understands, I don't want to be there, but like you said, he did try to come with the inside-out trip over there on the edge of the mat. 105 left in the second. Still 2 nothing. Woodcraft drives in, but can't get there. Provo was shot, not there. There's his hook. 
with Kraft under hooks, and maybe he even fakes the trip and drops down to a different level and goes leg shot. Who knows? He's creative from neutral. Provo been pretty cagey on the edge of the mat there. Yeah, he has. You know, Provo looks a little bigger than Whitcraft. He does, especially upper body. Upper body is sure. thick yeah. across the shoulders, well put together. 30 seconds here. Shot by Whitcraft, not there. 25 seconds remaining. Both of them almost wanted to shoot at the same time there. 17 seconds left in the second. Can somebody make an impact here? I don't think it's going to happen, but no. you never know. Final five seconds. We'll go to the third. Ooh, almost. Still 2 nothing. And with Provo having the choice, Provo's going to choose the bottom position. And I, I would guess with Woodcraft, you're going to have to let him go, do you think? Or is he, he going to try to turn? You know, can't get rid of the... No, the right time is... It's almost locked. It's 240. It's 240. Let's see. So if you, uh, it, you could get rid of the riding time if you rode out, but yeah. you'd also have to have a turn in there. Maybe he's looking to take a little bit of that riding time off. See if something presents itself, and if not, get back on your feet. Yeah. Try to hook something up. Of course, he's going to be down by four if he lets him up because of the riding time. There's a re Oh, he may go side by side with the Merkel position here. And watch out here. He's close. I don't know if he's got his hands locked. Now he's got to use that now. He's got five seconds on that. He's got to use it. Three. Got to use it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the call right there. And that's another point for Provo there. That's Redcraft had a stall in the first. He had a stall call first. early in the first. So, so that was the second three. stall call there. So that makes it 3-0. Whitcraft's given an optional start sign. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 5 nothing when he lets him up. If that's what he's doing. Escape 4 nothing. right in time 5 nothing. It's almost secure. So when he hooked that up there, he had five seconds to use that. Mm -hmm. They can still lock their hands from that position, but you got to use it. In that situation, Provo did a good job maybe even collapsing his hands, holding his hands together so he couldn't, couldn't let it go. So 49 seconds left. Whitcraft has to have something big happen for him. Provo's in great shape. Riding time is secured now. So, in effect, he's up 5-0. Yep. It would take a throw or something for Whitcraft to get back in it. And Provo's wrestled well. Got the early takedown, 240 of ride time. Got a stall call, got another stall call, and an escape. Controlled the match very well. Very well. Whitcraft, as of now, has not been able to get to anything. Let's go. Got those hooks early. 14 seconds left. Trip by Whitcraft. Didn't really have a great position, kind of a side trip, but Provo blocks it, throws in a hip block. Whitcraft uh, might get a takedown there and does with two. one second left. So that'll make the score final five to two after the takedown by Whitcraft because he has, does Provo, 155 riding time. Well, Cowboys win the duel 25 to nine, but a competitive duel with a lot of good scrambles and a lot of good matches. Your thoughts? It was a good one, man. A lot of action, especially a lot of those 57 to 49 pound match. So we'll be back in this bad boy Thursday night at seven o'clock, Jay. Gonna be fun, and Thursday night, Oklahoma State here. Bedlam duel against Oklahoma. If it's any more exciting than the one down in Norman, it, it will be a great one. Hey, for our producer, and for Hardell Moore doing a great job as usual, Jay Guyman saying good afternoon, everyone.